Hi, my name is Mr. Norris and I'm one of the second grade teachers here at the Chillicothe Primary and I'm going to go over today's assignments, Thursday, January 7th, 2020. This is in your packet. You can follow along up here on the screen. You can have your packet in front of you if you want to. Now, on the first page here is a reading comprehension check number three. And as you can see on my screen, mine's kind of turned sideways. So once again, with your packet, you have to turn it so it's around. So I'm going to kind of look like this for a second. But this is just a story about Law Enforcement Appreciation Day. So please read through the story and answer the questions. And remember, when you're answering questions two, three, and four, remember to use a complete sentence, start with a capital, put your punctuation at the end. The next page is about place value, okay? And this has to do with hundreds, tens, and ones for place value. So make sure you look at the hundreds blocks, the tens blocks, and the ones blocks, and put it in the appropriate column. Now, for a bonus that you can do, if you would like, if you would like to do this for a bonus, okay? You can also, underneath of it, if you would like to, write your number in expanded form. So I'm gonna do an example here. So there are 200 blocks there. There are one, two, three, four, five, six tens blocks and four ones. Remember, that's standard form. Now, expanded form, write the number expanded, 200 plus 60 plus four. That is expanded form. So if you would like to do that as a little extra, you can do that on this page. The next page is about even and odd numbers. The directions say to draw circles around the pairs of stars to show the number. Even numbers can be divided into two equal groups. Decide if the number is even or odd. So for the first one here, it says show the number six. So it tells you to draw circles around it. So I'm going to draw circles around six of the stars. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Now, they have a partner or a buddy, that means it's an even number, okay? Now also over here, I have a chart that says what even numbers end with and what odd numbers end with. And here's a little rhyme that you can practice at home and it might help you with remember what even number and odd numbers end with. So for instance, zero, two, four, six, eight, who do we appreciate? Even, even, even. So that is a chant for what even numbers end with. Here's a chant for what odd numbers end with. One, three, five, seven, nine are the odd numbers. Let's say them one more time. One, three, five, seven, nine. So those are a couple of little uh, rhymes and chants that you can do at home to practice so that you can remember. The next page is about cutting up words. Now I know that some of you might not have scissors or glue at home, that's okay. Don't worry about that. We wrote up there for you that you can just write the words in the boxes if you like. And then the very last page for today that you are gonna be working on are adjectives. So you read the sentences and you write an adjective on the line. Remember, adjectives are words that describe a noun. So I hope you have a good day and we will see you tomorrow.